the city of Kitchener is using city works for its gas and water utilities, for facilities management, and for its, its park operations. So it's being used for roads, snow plowing, parks, trails, and other areas um, within those divisions. The City Works selection process happened through, through a series of um, vendor demonstrations. So we had shortlisted down to, I believe it was three vendors uh, to select, to, to look at, to basically provide a, a, a comprehensive solution. And the, the City Works SAP and Riva solution was the one that really met all of the key business needs. And it was really the business areas that, that identified that and that picked the, the, the application in the end. Um, we have users in, in various departments. We're in um, community services department. We have the operations division, which look after the maintenance of roads and parks and sewers, and they use the work order system extensively. Um, we also have Kitchener Utilities that look after water distribution and gas. Um, they use the work order system extensively as well. Um, our engineering division, uh, both um, our operations engineering division and our utilities engineering uses the um, work order information related to the asset, um, each of the infrastructure assets to evaluate how, how and when we replace our infrastructure. With the help of GIS, we're able to click simply on an asset that pertains to our natural gas infrastructure. We're able to identify what components are a part of that infrastructure and uh, adequately provide whatever materials are needed to do or affect or repair on that infrastructure. I believe what's what's happening with GIS and it, and it seems to be kind of a trend is that it's it's almost becoming more transparent in applications and that there's 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 an expectation that there will be some kind of a spatial component or some kind of a mapping component with any type of application you know whether that be a work order system whether that be a financial system um, so much of our information in any municipality is, is based on a location or on an area and to have some type of seamless integration within any of those enterprise applications where you can look at the mapping I don't think the end users necessarily see that as, a, as GIS specifically they just they just see that the map is is now there and it's fully integrated and what we've done on city in CityWorks we've actually um, customized one of the one of the templates so that they have all the information that they need for example on on this particular street they are going to have to um, shoot across the, across the road or whatever and, and put the, uh, the service connected to the main which is on the opposite side of the actual, the actual house. So that's the sort of information that they need to have in order to get you know, the proper locates in order to I install the service. We did implement this project from, we started implement, implementing in um, uh, December 2007. It was completed December 2008, uh, which was a, a month ahead of schedule, which was great news. Uh, we were able to complete the project under budget. We had the opportunity to include 63 staff in the process um, so that they could see what was happening, understand um, how it would work before it was implemented so that they could feel a part of the process. So I think that was an important piece as well. With more eyes looking at the data, more people seeing that information on a day-to-day -day basis, we're getting better feedback all the time in terms of things that need to be corrected, things that, uh, things that maybe don't look the same in the field as they do in the GIS system. So we're able to get that, that change management into the system and it's really helping with the cycle of making that, the quality of that data better and better uh, over time. So, so that's a, a huge benefit specifically from a GIS perspective. I think it's, it's really important to our overall strategy as an organization to have applications that we can, that we can adopt sort of as enterprise-wide applications that we look to first in terms of expanding uh, functionality within those applications rather than uh, buying sort of individual solutions to do individual uh, workflows. So we will be looking to CityWorks, you know, basically wherever possible down the road to expand the use of it uh, into other areas of the organization as part of our overall uh, corporate technology strategy.